You may have heard it said that a small car is the best sort of conveyance for city driving and, more importantly, parking. From the perspective of pure physical dimensions, that is correct. But life is comprised of so much more than spatial limitations. Things like aggression, ego, and willpower are strong forces that transcend a spec sheet. The bigger, the better, that's all. And in this case, the Tesla Cybertruck is a perfect choice. Take the smart car. You may have seen them in your city if you live in a city. They take up little space, they're easy to park. But have you ever looked at the person driving one and said, now there is the cool dude, modern mind guy, a man who deserves my respect. Most likely, your mind ran along the lines, even subconsciously, of, look at that little man and his little old-fashioned car. I'm afraid I might step on it. If you live in New York or any of the other great American metropolises where people drive with an aggression befitting a frustration at life's daily annoyances, these thoughts have undoubtedly crossed your mind, and you aren't alone. For example, I saw a pair of policemen driving an NYPD Smart 4-2 last summer. It was a lamentable sight, and not at all a good reinforcement of the department's authority over law and order. The same rings true for other small cars. Try hopping into a Toyota Yaris and then merging into a line of orny box truck drivers and self-entitled BMW pilots. You're gonna end up getting stuffed onto that rubble strewn no man's triangle where the lanes split if you aren't willing to endure a few fender scrapes for your trouble. But in the giant electric Tesla Cybertruck, these problems practically disappear. You may not have the upper hand against 18-wheelers and buses, but their drivers will nonetheless look at you in a different light than they do the unfortunate motor links buzzing their flanks like pesty flies on a cow's haunches. And your brethren pickup drivers? They will regard you as an equal and treat you with respect. In addition, all small vehicles will be at your mercy. They'll shiver in their dainty shoes when they look in the rearview mirror and see your huge stainless steel brick dwarfing everything else in sight. Then, with the flick of your brights, their resolve will crumble like a brittle autumn leaf. They'll blow the hell out of your way. The all-wheel drive Tesla Cybertruck, which I recently tried out, was ideal for contouring wild city streets. Inside, I was surrounded by modern interiors with rugged details, heavy sound-absorbing materials, and a quality audio system insulated me from the terrified screams of small cars motorists as I threatened their bumpers until they gave way. I could already imagine using it to haul a bunch of parts from our Land Cruiser project to the machine shop. Cybertruck's electricity nature also resolves one unpleasant aspect of ICE trucks in the city – huge fuel consumption. How convenient. Earlier this year, while using a four-wheel drive electric Ford F-150 Lightning every day, even if it's not as powerful or innovative a truck as the Tesla, I discovered another new use for the giant pickup truck, a makeshift snowblower. After the skies dumped two feet of snow on city streets in one day, street parking has become scarce. The plows pushed all that snow along the sides of the street, taking up space where parallel parking would normally be possible. No matter for the mighty HD. Once the sun's head loosened the snow a little, I was able to force it to obey the three-ton truck. The truck had its own parking space, all with the same leather comfort. Both trucks have also proven to be ideal options for interstate hauling. The long wheelbase provided a smooth ride, especially with the Cybertruck's huge range. Unfortunately, Ford can't boast of this. You could still argue that parallel parking a huge truck is a pain. That's for sure. But in reality, if you can afford to buy a truck that costs around $100,000, you can sure as hell plop down a few coins for valet parking or the thrice as expensive as normal oversized vehicle garage parking fee. After all, money equals power and power equals freedom, right? If you look beyond the buildings and municipal trains, the city is essentially an uncivilized jungle, at least in New York. With that in mind, long live the indomitably large and almighty truck.